All right, yeah, I normally don't do this, like go back into my video archives and try to find something to re-upload. Um, but several people have been asking about the temperature gauge I put on my Limitless. So I did this over two years ago. Um, if you guys could search YouTube JTRC and put in temperature gauge Limitless or something, you should be able to come up with that. But I went ahead, um, found it, and I went ahead and reposted it. Um, I normally, like I said, I normally don't do this, but I'll do this this one time. So pay attention to the video because there's some stuff you have to do to actually make this temperature gauge work. I believe it had like three wires and you got to cut one wire off or something to it. Uh, pay attention to this video and there's a link below in the description too to actually purchase the gauge. I think it's a lot cheaper than what when it was when I first bought this. What's going on y'all? JT here with a quick video. So I wanted to let you guys know that I did put a digital uh, thermometer on the back of my Limitless. You guys can see this here, get this to focus in just a little bit. I know sometimes it doesn't focus with showing any like screens or anything like that but um it does read fahrenheit so i'm gonna put a link in the description to this um, and i do have this mounted to my motor there um so basically when you get this it's, it's gonna have a usb cord and it's also gonna have this where here where you can attach it to actually um check the temperatures and stuff so i went ahead and just taped this to the motor for now so this is going to give me a live feed to the temperature of my motor so i don't have to keep taking the body off and kind of seeing what's going on with it now real quick when you get this this is going to have a usb cord on there so um you see this one cord right here it's got well i should say normally usb cords have about four wires in there not one or two but four and are kind of wrapped in together like this Fortunately, this has only got two. So when you splice or cut this USB portion off of it, um, and then you kind of cut into it, you're gonna see two wires. You're gonna see a red and a uh, black wire. And that's, of course, your positive and negative. So what I did was I had an EC5, or sorry, EC3 connector that I used and cut. And I just sided on there and then taped this down so this is secure. And then I just hooked my battery up to it. So this will be secure in my car every time I run it on top of my uh, LiPo, whichever LiPo battery I run on there to secure that in and then of course i just for now these are um trash bag straps or you can get them off of if you have bread and stuff this is like this for now before i do um any any other secure straps on here are permanent straps or not so much permanent but zip ties or anything because i may adjust this a little bit i want to make sure that it was long enough to actually fit down up in here now what i did for this in here is i just cut a piece of plastic out and if we can get this to focus in, if I use the light, we may lose focus a little bit. We'll try it. So you guys see there, it's a screw there and it's a screw there. So I just cut off a piece of plastic and then I just secured this down with those two holes for screws. I was like, armor kind of knew we were probably going to mount something back here. And then, of course, I just double side taped that in. And that's kind of what's keeping that in there right there. And there you guys can see that temperature read. Um, real time right there. So that is a good thing. So basically, it's it's a wing piece of the wing right here I just of course unscrewed that to be able to get to this a little bit better and hook that up so that is kind of what I'm going to do for temperature wise on um, this particular vehicle here I did go from the 50 to the 46 to center div and when I do my runs I don't know if I'm going to do it with a uh, I'll probably try with the 46 first and then this uh, 27 tooth so we should get you know roughly I don't know about 75 80 miles per hour or so because the kv motor is lower than what comes in the infraction like a 2050 this is a 1250 kv motor but this can run 8s so we'll do a trial run to see what it does on 6s check the temperature and then we'll see what we can do on 8s and check the temperature and then possibly next week or if i have enough time i may go ahead and put the spool in there to see what kind of speeds we're going to get just by switching out and leaving the spool in there as well so but the main thing i did want to show you guys was i did put uh, this digital thermometer up in here to check my temperatures with I said I would try my best to keep you guys up to date with some of the stuff I'm doing for this so I'm not just building and say here's my car and just show you a quick overview of it. And you're like wait a minute what'd you do for it so but I'll put a link like I said down in the description to this and also when you get this this is going to read Celsius now in order to um, have it read Fahrenheit there's a little tab on the back there's a picture that's gonna come up you just take that tab out and then it's gonna read Fahrenheit so just so you know when you get it, it is gonna be Celsius you take that little tab out and it's gonna read uh, back to Fahrenheit so you guys um, pay attention to that these things run about 16 bucks um, you can get free shipping of course if you got prime and stuff so I went ahead and I got prime and I got mine in a couple of days so that is gonna be it for as far as this is concerned and then probably I will mount this fan on here as well um, I just kind of want to keep this car as cool as possible 
and still be able to run it at 75, 80 miles per hour, even if I'm just out running it just in general. So I'll probably end up putting this fan on. Now, this fan's an old hobby wing one, so you probably can't find this heat seeking fan together in one, but um, there's plenty of them out there. Or if someone knows of some, just kind of put it, in, put it in the comments below. I'll try to disable links and stuff, but sometimes they do flag as spam. But um, if I can find one of these, I'll let you guys know. I may put one down in the description or something, but this is possibly gonna go on here as well. And then I'll be connecting this to maybe to this bar to this battery as well maybe building like a wire connection i don't know just yet but i do kind of want to get a fan going as well to keep this motor as cool as possible even though it is a lower cave and a bigger cam motor it's still possible heat as well so anyway guys i don't want to blab too much i want to show this to you guys i'm going to try to continue to keep you guys up to build but stay tuned for super speed saturday when we're going to take this out and do some trial runs with it so as always don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching